Is there somewhere that you're continually drawn back to? Like an old friend, no matter how long you spend apart, it always feels like you were together yesterday. The anticipation of your reconnection gives you butterflies and you reminisce on past memories. Throughout my time in New Zealand, one place called me back more than any other, Auraki Mount Cook. Each time I returned, I found something new and unexpected. In the bucket list ticking world we live in, it can be difficult to choose between returning to a familiar spot and exploring somewhere new. It seems like there's a lot of pressure to tick the box, and I've definitely been guilty of adopting this mentality at times. This place taught me that even the most familiar places can be filled with mystery and trigger curiosity. We made it. Check this out. That's the view. This is my bed. This is where we're crashing tonight. The sun was out in full force today, so we sat in the tent with the view, read our book for a bit, had a good yarn, and uh, waited for our two good friends, uh, Joel and Benny, to turn up and they've just set their tent up now and we've got the food on the go, beer in hand, so it's a pretty good evening. How's this even, how's this even happening? <laughs> the cocktail of beautiful people, awe-inspiring scenery and solitude that presented itself was a recipe for reflection, contemplation and growth. In the words of Jason Silva, an aesthetic experience is an altered state of consciousness, a perceptual experience in which you are shaken, decentered, and the neurochemistry of the brain is transformed. It forces contemplation, it forces a response. You are both outside yourself and beside yourself, and essentially become one with the aesthetic work. In other words, the awe-inspiring majesty of the New Zealand backcountry provided me with a reset of sorts. And each time I returned, I found something new to absorb, something new to contemplate. Moving to New Zealand inspired me to explore. It began with a physical exploration of the beautiful landscapes, but it quickly poured over into an internal exploration. I was forced to ask myself questions that I may have never thought to ponder otherwise. It gave me the space to think about what was truly important to me without the noise of the influences that I had grown up with. I guess you could say that my time around Mount Cook was just another level of the same influence that New Zealand had on me as a whole. It provided a different lens to view my experiences through. And I could return home with a clear mind and a roadmap for growth. So thank you, New Zealand, for your beautiful landscapes, creatures, and people and for opening my eyes to a whole new world of possibilities.
feeling stuck, I challenge you to explore. It won't be comfortable, but it might be what you need to begin living a story worth telling. And don't be afraid to visit that spot that took your breath away a while back. It might just surprise you with something new.